So we are on our way to Asheville, and one place you must stop on the way down is Knoxville, Tennessee, and check out the urban wilderness. This place is amazing. All right, so we are here at the urban wilderness trail at uh, the bottom of the downhills. We're gonna go check it out and do some flow on, there's a green, blue, and black. I think check all three of those out and then probably head over to the other kind of more cross country loop, so. What's the black loop? It's the devil's, the devil's racetrack. The one that I wanna do? Yeah, oh, okay. with your full face. Okay, let's go. See ya. Oh. So all of this is Oh, look is at this, new. Micah. They've got a pump track, they've got a small little downhill flow trail. So we're gonna head over to the Sycamore Loop and go clockwise. This is gonna be a green trail that you could do with your families. It's, it's a decent sized loop, I would guess, maybe a couple miles. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go left to the Redbud Crest Trail. And this is the trail that takes you up the hill about three quarters of a mile, I think, to the downhill trails. Here's the top. You're unsure. And we are gonna do Cruise Valley Road. Easy, Micah. This is gonna be the green trail as it relates to the jump trails, but honestly, this is the fun one for me. Not too big, you can have Whoa. a lot of fun. Ah, this breaks. Not too small either. We've got a couple of tabletops here. Get some really good speed, and then as you see after a couple of these jumps, really cool, nicely built berms down the trail. I think I had Micah, he was doing this trail when he was seven years old. So you could take smaller kids on this. I think we might even come across a smaller kid in a little bit. Excuse me, sorry about that. There you go. I got one more behind me. But you can also send it and have a good time. It's just perfect because it's not too big to make you feel unsafe to get hurt. But it's big enough to where you can get your blood pump. Nice job! On the Sycamore Loop. This this is like I said the trail that you can take the beginners and the family on. All the downhill trails kind of funnel into Sycamore Loop. So we're gonna be going clockwise. Here's another family we come across. Alright, so we're at the top of Devil's Racetrack. This is the double black diamond at Knoxville. As you can see, downtown is right over there. So we're like, we're, we're five, 10 minutes from downtown. Oh, got some people coming. So pull to the side, but as you start, you roll in, hit a couple of the rock faces and you go into that turn. So we're gonna be flowing through this in a few secs. So I took Micah down this and it's perfectly fine to roll down it. They These used to be all double jumps and they made them off tabletop. That was lame. So you can just roll down it. Not gonna do that turn. All right, here's where the downhill starts. Like I said, these all used to be doubles at a tabletop. So if you want to take your son up there or someone who's a beginner 
honestly, beginners I wouldn't take, but if they're intermediate, they're used to just flowing down some, some flow trails, they could definitely at least experience it and just kind of see what the, the trail's like. I let Micah go ahead of me right here, and he actually hucks it off one of these jumps a little bit more than what I was comfortable with. On his fat bike. Easy! Back it down, boy! So when you okay. end the Devil's Race track, then it spits you out at the bottom of the new section where they've got the Check this concrete out. downhill jump trail. I don't think I got a name for it, so I called it the concrete jump runs. It's pretty legit. It's fun. It reminds me of a small town version of Bentonville. Next we've got the concrete, concrete pump track. Plenty of lines on this. Very well built as well. And just really fun. There's Micah there to the left. Skirt! If you're looking for a mountain bike getaway from Indianapolis that's about five hours away, this is my recommendation. There's tons of trails down here that you can go check out. Plenty of things like this for the kids to, to ride around. Here's a skills course just a little bit away, just, just south of where the pump track is. That one's a little bit skinny, but there's even smaller ones to where the, the younger kids can check out too. And Knoxville is actually a pretty cool city. Highly recommend it. Alright, so we just climbed up to the downhill trails, Cruise Valley and Barnburner. We're going to go past that on Redbud Crest to head over to the other parking lot in the urban wilderness. I need a beer. So when we did this trip to Knoxville, we were actually on our way to Asheville, but it could easily be a extended weekend getaway, or if you want to hit it on the way to Asheville, I would highly recommend as well. This trail is actually new. It wasn't there last time I was there. Oh wow. So I let, had Micah stay towards the bottom while I did Party yeah. in the Woods. This rock section was a little bit gnarly for him, so I'm glad he didn't do it. The rest of it, he would have, he would have been just fine. So gave Micah the green light to go, and then he went down the green easier trail, and I went down the blue trail. Or black, I'm not sure what it was. And we met at the bottom. There he is on the right. <laughs> it's 
very apparent though, this is brand new as well from a year ago. So Knoxville is seriously investing in their trails to make a great trail system. It's definitely on my list every year. That's a gap. So this trail is pretty much going to take us to the other parking lot where the girls are swimming in the big lake. It's almost like a man-made lake. I'm not sure what you call that, but you'll get to see it at the end. So we're just heading back. Quick, quick ride, I think it was about two hours, and then we wanted to head back. This trail is really cool. This is turnbuckle. Some kind of techy rock sections, and a couple of cool bridges on the side of a, a hill. Yeah. Micah did actually pretty good on this too. I was really proud of him. Dang, dude! Are you kidding me? Yeah, he was kind of mad at this he point. You should ride angry more often. I forget what he was mad about, but, but he did the hill, so I said ride mad next time, because you're killing it, bro. And this is pretty much kind of the gravel trail to take us back to the other parking lot. Where the girls were at. But the best part about this parking lot, not only is it can you swim and kayak and rent a paddleboard, but they also have a beer trailer there where you can pick up some yeehaw tasty beverages. You know I did. So this is the other parking lot where you can park for the urban wilderness. Over here you got the map. So over here you've got Yeehaw, which is a local Tennessee beer. You can stop and have beer. I've never seen where you can have beer at the end of a trailhead. You got some bags playing. You can rent paddle boats. You can rent, not paddle boats, but kayaks, um, stand up boards. You've got a spot here to fill up your water bottles and use restrooms. Tons of spots where you can jump into this quarry where you can swim, which is where we're going to go. So as Mike and I were riding the trails, Mom and Lexi drove over to this parking lot parked and then they hopped in the water while we've been biking for probably the last hour hour and a half so plenty to do here at urban wilderness even if you do not want to ride mountain bikes let's go check out the, the quarry all right guys thanks for watching subscribe and make sure that you're a part of and can watch the next flock of steagall's adventure where are we going next i guess we'll have to tune in and see peace out suckers